All right, welcome back. So we, I just made a quick run to Lowe's. I needed a few things that I couldn't get at holidays. Um, definitely needed some new gardening gloves because I ripped a hole in the middle finger of my other ones. And I picked up some seeds. These are the wild, wildflower seed mixes that I like. Um, I'm going to put these along the house like I did last year, and it worked really well. Got some big-ass sunflowers. I got the skyscraper. This one <laughs> up to 12 feet tall. And then I found, so I got some mixed colors, some autumn beauty. This is the carpet of snow. This is what I really like for either borders or just throwing it in as a filler. That works really well. And I'm excited. I've never grown these for the American Giant Hybrid up to 16 feet. So I'm excited for that one. And again, excuse my dirty ass fingernails. Because I've been in the dirt all day. Oh, and I had to get some more gladiolas because, of course. I got one of these. We're going to see how this works. A reed orchid. So this gets pretty good morning sun. I'm excited to see how this looks. It's my orange bird of paradise. But I need to get rid of those dead leaves. And then in here, I need to pull these up and see if the bulbs are still good or if it really did not do well through the freeze, which I'm suspecting is the case. But I saw some really awesome, <coughs> excuse me, um, some cannas with like the black and reddish leaves that I might throw in here. So once I clean all of this stuff out of here and get that all cleaned up, that'll look nice. But I want to see... If those other bulbs are dead but this is looking like it's coming back pretty nice and I'll probably put the other one up here because it looks like it's doing okay so this is the haul from earlier at holidays and then I picked up a couple more some border and filler stuff at Lowe's. I got these at Lowe's for the front walkway. I'm going to put those there and I'm going to line the front with the white begonias. And then these are super cool. I forgot about these. I grew these last year. Dragon's Breath. These are so cool. And especially if you contrast them, like with this white jasmine here or with the moonflowers that I am hoping grow up the swing. I'm going to put these in here when I have the, the hubby drill some holes in there so they'll drain well. And I'm going to put those on one on each side with some moonflower seeds and see if we can get that to grow and contrast the white moonflower with these beautiful plants and in the sun depending on how um, mature they are and in the sunlight they're either a, a hot pink or kind of a reddish color you never really tell but it's super bright and it's a really cool plant gets about two feet tall I think let's see here yeah 18 to 24 inches and we always like where we live loves the heat because <laughs> trust me this will get blasted with heat all day long so we'll see how these work out got a couple of things to throw in here and i'm excited to get some of this stuff in the ground because then we can see what we have room for to go buy more flowers yay So I need to give everything a drink, but this is what happens when you have a problem with gardening is you come home and you set things out and you end up sticking stuff in the dirt because you just can't 
help yourself, and then your hands end up disgusting, regardless of if you're wearing gardening gloves or not. And just a fun fact, I noticed that I already have, these are the gloves that I just bought, and I already had a pair, but I guess they have a hole in them. <laughs> Did that earlier today, ripping stuff out. But you know you have a problem when you have all kinds of gardening gloves just lying around. Not good. But I got these in the ground. And I'm going to put the begonias, I think, right in front of them. Either that or the impatience. But the impatience and or begonias and the marigolds are going to go down on that corner right there with these lovelies. And we got these in the ground. I don't remember what these were called. The little... Pink purple, whatever you want to call that. But they're super cool. And then we got the Ver the Veronica. We, we got Veronica. I got her. So I got those in the dirt. So I think those will look pretty good right there. Still just tr trying to decide if I'm going to move this and put the Sago Palm here. Because it will get leafy and it won't look so dead in the next week or so. But now it's time to give everything a good drink and put them to bed and be back out in the dirt again.